Hey everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a really fun and interesting video that I have never done before, but this is a Sims 4 Create a Sim collab with the super awesome Wood Joseph. And basically we've actually done a uh, collab before on his old channel and we recently talked about just doing, you know, a kind of like an updated collab video for his new channel. So that is what we are doing here today. And we came up with this really fun, interesting idea to do a sim swap challenge. I don't know if this has been a thing before, but basically we agreed to make two crazy looking sims. Um, just give them, you know, really funky facial features and bodies and hair and everything. So that's the sim I'm working on right now. And then we would swap sims basically sim swap you know swap sims and then i have his sim that he made and he has the sim that i made and we have to give them a makeover we can change their facial facial features facial features oh my goodness facial features guys um anyways we got to change that up and everything and we were allowed to change hair color and stuff but we weren't allowed to change their personalities or their names so Basically, there's kind of a personality already for my sim here, Rita Harvey. She's very artistic and artsy and um, just a little bit clumsy, a little bit, um, you know, unique and vibrant and fun. That's kind of how I pictured her. So now he has my sim and now I have his sim that I get to make over. So this here is the sim that he made and she turned out really good, actually. <laughs> I was surprised. So obviously, this is what she looked like before. She um, had some very interesting eyes and eyebrows those eyebrows oh goodness me those were some bad eyebrows gave me a little bit of a nightmare but i changed them to these really nice thick eyebrows and basically i still kind of wanted to keep her similar facial features the sharper jawline and um the more um interesting lips and everything like that the very thick eyebrows i wanted to keep that uh, I still wanted to keep her curvy and everything because that's just kind of the body type that she had. And I just felt like it fit her really well. So I wanted to keep a lot of like the same kind of look to her. Not make her look completely different, but you know, just make her look a, a little better from that clown hair that she had and everything. That was some bad hair though, but uh, yeah, I just love the idea of this this little challenge that we did. It was a lot of fun and I've never done anything like this before and I had so much fun doing it that like I totally would be down to do, you know, more sim swap challenges like this. Um, but yeah, so definitely make sure to go check out Wood Joseph's channel. He makes really awesome LPs. He has this Stockton LP, it's Sims 4 and everything. And you guys know me, I'm not really into the Sims 4, but it's a really cool legacy kind of challenge thing. I don't know, it's not like a legacy per se, but um, it just has a really cool backstory to it. So uh, definitely go check out his videos. He makes super awesome videos and he's just so much fun to talk to. He's awesome. So definitely check him out. His video and his links and everything will be down below in the description bar, of course. Also, our Sims are available for download. Both the crazy looking Sims and the, you know, makeover Sims are all available on our galleries, which I will link his gallery and my gallery name down below in the description bar, hey. Um, but yeah, so I just had a lot of fun like coming up with her style and everything. I want to keep her a little bit more conservative um, and just a little bit more muted. To me, she's very much like a very family person. She's very neat, a little bit more of a bookworm. I felt like she'd be a little bit more introverted. So I tried to not give her outfits that were super like revealing or outgoing or show too much skin. I feel like she would keep it a little bit more um, toned down. So that's what, that's the style that I went for. But it took me, oh, it took me forever, guys. Like, I could not decide on anything for the longest time. And then I was like, okay, I need to go shopping. <laughs> so I went to Tumblr and downloaded a whole bunch of new custom content. And um, hair-wise, I don't think I used any of, like, the new hair that I downloaded. But I did keep like the ponytail and stuff that she had a few minutes ago. I still love that. That hairstyle looks so cute on her. Um, but I did go in and give her, you know, some really cute new clothes. Um, I don't know exactly where I got any of the custom content because Sims 4 stuff I don't really keep track of. I don't play Sims 4 that much. So I don't really organize my CC like I do for the Sims 3 and the Sims 2. So I'm not exactly sure where I got all of her clothing and stuff. Um, I just recommend going and searching on Tumblr for Sims 4 Maxis Match Clothing. I'm sure you guys can find a lot of the stuff that I found because uh, I just went on the main page there and clicked some stuff and I was like, okay, this works. This is cute. So yeah. So at first I started wanting to do like this cute like little crop top and maxi skirt, but then I felt like she looked like 
I don't know, like medieval peasant or something. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that is not the look for her. Um, and then I wanted to do like a cute crop top. So I actually ended up going with this super adorable tur turtleneck sweater, which I'm not a fan of wearing turtleneck sweaters uh, just because, I don't know, I feel like they just look weird on me. Um, but on her, they look super cute. Like this sweater and these black pants are just super adorable. I kind of went with a more fall and winter look now that we're going for me here in America, we're going into fall and winter. I know for other people like in Australia and stuff, they're going into spring, but I'm all ready for fall. I'm like, heck yes. Uh, I did change her hair from like the blonde to a more conservative brown. I felt like she wouldn't be into like dyeing her hair, super crazy fun colors. So I felt like the blonde was a little bit of a stretch. So I changed it to this really warm uh, brown chocolatey color and I love it. She looks so pretty. Like, oh, she turned out so good. I really love how she turned out. Um, it like slightly makes me want to play The Sims 4, but only slightly because, you know, I'm not really into The Sims 4, but create a sim wise. I actually have a lot of fun in Sims 4 create a sim, but yeah. And this is her formal outfit. I did go do all of her outfits. I've been kind of back and forth on that lately. If I do all of their outfits or just one of their outfits, but for her, I went in and did all of her outfits because, you know, I was feeling it. I was like, you know, there's some really cute stuff in here. Let's do this. But yeah, anyways, I think I'm going to leave you guys here just to see the rest of it, see the rest of her outfits and everything. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really like this cool challenge video kind of thing. It was a lot of fun. And uh, Joseph was just so like kind to come up with a super awesome idea. It was mostly his idea. So most of the credit goes to him. And then I'm, I kind of, you know, gave my two cents a little bit, but he came up with the idea. He's like, what if we like trade Sims? I was like, yes, oh my gosh, that sounds like so much fun. So he totally gets all the credit for it, honestly. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go check out his channel. He makes super awesome videos and he is just super awesome. So check him out. But yeah, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys. So much for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also if you aren't already subscribed make sure to click that button down below if you want to see more of me you can check out my links to the side i have my twitter where i ramble all day and i also have my other youtube channel where i make beauty and fashion videos so make sure to check them out thank you guys again for watching and i will see you all next time bye